Hey, it's Tony Talking Car Biz. In today's vehicle video, we're gonna dive inside this brand new 2021 Toyota 4Runner, and we're gonna check out the third row seat. Let's get started. Great. Okay, let's get started inside. The third row seat option on the 4Runner is a $1,365 option. I will tell you that it does take up some of the height in the 4Runner in the back, probably a good three to maybe as much as five inches of of height from top to bottom but when it's down you really don't even see it see it know that it's here when it's down you do have your tie down hooks at all four corners just like you would on a normal forerunner uh, but then to move these seats up there's some handles up here and there's a handle right here so you can pull on this one Go back. and that'll bring it up and then your headrest you've got to bring that up in a manual position so you can see that we've got a 50-50 fold down uh, setup on the seats and it comes up nice and easy no problem there and then we've got another handle over here i do have to say that in order to get here you do need a little bit longer than average arms so it's a little bit of a stretch for myself but if you've got longer arms and a longer torso it shouldn't be a problem these seats do pop up with dual headrest on both sides the nice thing about the headrest is if you don't have anybody here in this back seat then you can put these headrests down and eliminate any blind spots that might that those might be uh, giving you in the back so that's how they come up to take them down it's pretty easy once again just pop them down like so and away you go now the other thing is with those seats down now we can fold these seats up in here we can bring them down as well so i've got 20 percent folded down if you're running snow skis or what have you up in up inside there and then this seat can come down as well right here so you can fold that seat down and then come back around to the back you can see how much space we have up in here as well so there's plenty of cargo room once those seats are down and you do have a pretty flat floor space once those seats are set down in the back I'm gonna go ahead and swing around, wait right here, and I'll drop down that seat. And so you can see with the back seats down, there really is a lot of extra cargo room, and it gives you a very, or a near flat floor in the back as well. So let's go ahead and swing around to the front, and we'll see how it looks from up there. Okay, so the with the third row seat, they've got it set up so that on the passenger side this is where you want people to enter and exit the vehicle and that's because this seat right here actually folds down and slides forward so down on the floor here there's a handle and you go ahead and just tug on that handle and the seat will slide you can see there's a track right here and it gives you room to get in there's probably about eight inches of room and then way down on the floor there's a place that you can put your foot to get up in there and then up here on the ceiling, it, there's a handle to help get in and out. Now I have to say that getting into the back of this for an adult, not an easy deal. I'm 5'7", and it's a little bit of a struggle for me to get in there, but if you're a 10 year old, probably pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and climb in and show you. Okay, so now I'm inside and I have to say, the amount of leg room here, pretty minimal. Again, I'm five foot seven, and I'm right up against that back seat. So, and I don't even have this seat brought forward yet. Now, the great thing is the 40 or the 20% can fold down on the seat over here. So we've got that down, and that does give me a little bit more leg room when I bring that up. But I don't think that you're gonna wanna put a grown person back here and then I'll slide the seat backwards and I'll show you what it looks like so there's a little handle right here on the back of the seat and I can just tug this forward like so and now I'm up in here in the back so it's pretty tight it definitely is for little kids you're not gonna want to put adults back here uh, but in a pinch I think it's the right vehicle for a family with uh, little ones or that you need to um, bring people in the, into the back seat. 
But overall, on the back of this seat here, there is a child uh, anchor, so you can plug your child safety seats. There's also one here. And then I can bring down this back seat over here from here. I guess if you do that, you've got a nice footrest for your back seat passengers. But again, it's just not for it's just not for adults. Now, in order to put these seats down, you have to be in the trunk. You can't do it from here. But before you do that, you want to go over underneath the seat here, and there's a release handle way down here, which folds the seat base back up. So that kind of retracts itself. And I guess you could bring the seat down. Got to release the handle, drop down your headrest over here and then fold down your seat like that. So you could bring it down from back here, but again, it's not a great system. It really is just a jump seat for you know little ones or temporary uses. And then to bring that back up, bring it up like so. Bring your seat down and you're good to go in the back. Now. If you're sitting behind this seat over here, you can see I can barely get my legs underneath here. If you're sitting behind this seat here, this one does slide forward and backwards. I'll show you that in just a minute to give you a little bit more leg room. So if you're going to put kids back here and you have a taller, the taller one probably wants to sit on this side, but the taller one has to come in, kind of finagle their way through and sit down. So um, the third row seat on the forerunner um, might not be the right choice for everybody, but like I say, in a pinch it could work out. So we'll go ahead and jump out and we'll swing around and take a look at the seat from the other side. Okay, so diving in on the driver's side, this side is not really uh, designed to, for folks to be able to get in and out. This seat does not slide forward and backwards like the other seat. So on this seat, there's uh, two handles, one right here that allows you to tilt the seat forward. And then there is a handle under the very front that does slide it forward here. But if you come around and look, there's almost no space to get in and out on this side. So strongly recommend uh, entering and getting and exiting on that side of the vehicle. Um, but the great thing about this seat is it does slide forward and backwards. So it's on that, there's a handle under the front. And the advantage to that is it gives the person behind this seat more leg room. Uh, but you're really not going to want to try to climb in and out of here very often. So strongly recommend entering on the other side. The seat is a full leather seat on the Limited. And there's a folding armrest with cup holder right down there. So these are really, really comfortable seats. And the third row seat's only available on the Limited limited nightshade, uh, SR5, and SR5 Premium. So not on any of the TRD versions of the uh, 4Runner. So if you're looking for the third row seat, take a look at those models and you'll be able to get it. Again, it's a $1,365 option. And uh, you know, give it some serious consideration. You do lose a little cargo room in the back, but you do pick up the functionality of being able to have seven passenger seating when you need it. So that's a quick look at the uh, third row seat on the 2021 Toyota 4Runner. This particular one is the limited edition, Barcelona red with the third row seat option. Great looking rig. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please uh, give it a thumbs up. If there's any other questions you have about that third row seat, uh, let me know and I'd be happy to answer them for you. This is Tony talking car biz. Thanks for watching.